let's say I have a microservice architecture where each microservice is exposing a health endpoint. Then we're going to base our development environment upon that. Um, the fact that I don't have a service working means that my development environment won't actually work. And the only way to tell whether my services are running or not is by querying the actual health endpoint that the service is exposing, right? So here's a basic simulation of what a service would be. It's just a, an application which exposes that uh, URL there. And uh, to have a look at all the services that I'm exposing at once, we're going to be building this Heartbeat application. Heartbeat is a monitor for those services and it's a desktop application. If I turn these uh, monitors on, you'll see that they will start giving me native notifications whether the service is online or offline, right? I, I don't have this one running right now, so let's um, fire it up and you'll see it's, it's actually monitoring an online service. Uh, you can also add new services. Let's add service one. And here's the interval. How often do I want uh, the service to be queried? So let's leave that at the default. And which default is found here on the settings uh, panel, I guess. Um, you'll see that it's going to be doing it every five seconds and here we turn off the notifications if we don't, we don't want our desktop to be cluttered with all of these. Um, you can also have notifications but no sound. That's a possibility too. And let's leave it at that. You can edit your, your monitors. You can change the name here. And if you made a mistake on the endpoint, you can change it there. You can see here that it already grabbed my default. And this being a desktop app, you'll, you're also able to integrate it on the operating system, right? So for instance, you have this uh, menu here where you can add a new remote by clicking here and you'll be presented with a remote form. Or you can, if you noticed, you can use the shortcut which is command N in this case, and the same thing will happen. Okay. So without further ado, let's dive in and create Heartbeat.